Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Sweet In 2. Last time we finished up everything that we needed to do here in Green Hill. Uh, and now it's taken over by the Highland Soldiers as usual. Um, one thing to note, at this point, um, the Ragged Ones will really soon disappear from the overworld area right here around Green Hill. So if you want to grab the, what is it, the Turtle Plans number 2, make sure that you get that. I only had to fight about four of them until I finally got one to drop. So if you want those, get it. If you don't, don't. I really don't care. <laughs> anyway, let's head on back to um, Two Rivers here. Because if you recall, um, back at Green Hill, we saw Jean. She's that rune shop owner. Um, she wouldn't join our party back there. However, there was a, uh, a rune shop person here when we first came to Two River that talked about Jean. So now, um, if we go in here, hey, hey, here she is. Wait, it's been a long time. Oh, I, I think she's talking about whenever I saw her back in uh, Green Hill. Yeah, so uh, could you join our group? Oh, great. Woohoo! And more party members with Jean joining. And the real nice thing now is that we have access to um, a rune shop in our headquarters. That's always nice. Something that we got last time that I really failed to go over was the Chimera rune. It is complete gutter trash. Um, basically, it says that it allows you to like transfer statuses. So like, if you get a status ailment like poison, you can transfer it to somebody else. Um, if you get, like, a good status, like Berserk, and you want to transfer it to somebody else, you can do that too. But honestly, like, are you really gonna waste a rune slot on transferring statuses around? Like, it's so situational and bad. So I would not use it. I would probably, honestly, just sell it. Okay, so now I'm at Kobold Village, and let's see. Huh, there's this girl hanging around, Yuzu. Maybe Yuzu should stop uh, talking in third person. I really don't care. <laughs> yeah, cry about it. Die mad. Eh, what happened? Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, so I'll help you out. It's fine. Because I'm such a nice guy. Not really. <laughs> Oh, not with annoying JRPG children, I'm not. So all we have to do is go here, catch a sheep. Okay, so now there's two sheep left. Where could the sheep possibly be? Oh, look, there's another one. Wow, this is oh so hard. How am I ever going to catch these sheep? Yeah, he's kind of hidden back there underneath the tree. Man, you're like the worst shepherd ever. You're terrible. Ugh. So, Yuzu, uh, could you, like, talk to me? Oh. Oh. So, uh, you know, you could take him to my place or I could say, Scram! Get lost! Stupid kid. Yeah, okay, so you can take him to my place. It's fine. You know, maybe you should be more concerned about what happened to your grandfather than what happened to your sheep. I mean, just saying, though. Okay, see ya! Now, if you recall, last time we were here, um... I, I went inside these woods, and I told you not to open up a particular treasure chest. If you went up that right-hand path right there, there would be a treasure chest. And I said, hey, don't open that, because later on we'll be actually be able to, you know, get something halfway decent. Well, now's later, and it's time to get something halfway decent. A lamb! That looks, looks like a sheep to me, but anyway, that's everything that we could do here. So... What I want to do now is head back to the headquarters, and I'm just going to meet you there. I made it back, and I'm at the entrance of the headquarters, and there's a couple of things that we can do here, mostly just to clear out inventory space. 
Um, I'm getting a lot of different things like old books and seedlings and farm animals and things like that. And I do want to go ahead and drop those off. So off screen, I went to Barbara and I took those things out of the vault. So, um, Amelia here has the old books and we'll do an episode dedicated to old books later in the LP. I just wanted to drop those things off for right now. I like how Bolgan's sitting in the library. Like, you would, wow. I was gonna say, I was like, this is the last place that you would expect for him to be, but he's there studying. He's learning how to uh, read, apparently. So good on him for bettering himself. Another thing that we can look at is the rune shop. And the nice thing about the rune shop is uh, not only do you have, you know, access to it, of course, but you can remove runes from people who are in your party and people who are not in your party. So you can get rid of all of these, or you can, you know, easily get these other runes that are just kind of stuck on people. So that's really nice. I'm going to spend some time um, taking these runes off of various people. Although, I think that the fires, like, this might be it. Well, no, Hannah has the double beat. I might just be able to do all this on screen. It doesn't take all that much time. Anybody else? Oh. Uh, wind and water. Eh, whatever. I'll just do it. Whatever. Who cares? Normally I wouldn't do something like this on screen, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And then you'll get to see all the various runes that I have, and I'm going to give all these runes to, um, to Barbara and just kind of stick them in there. Other things I might sell. Um, what is the waking rune? Oh, that's really crappy. You begin the battle asleep and then you wake up in your berserk? Like, screw that. Um, I don't know. Not really a fan of that one right there. I have five wind runes? Seriously? Huh. Oh well. The runes on Luke I'll keep on him for right now. Um, you know, because Luke will be a staple in my party. So, we have a couple of places that we can go to now. Um, first things first, I do want to show off this. You now have access to a cook-off minigame and you can go ahead and give the chef all sorts of recipes and spices and things like that for this cook-off minigame um i don't want to deal with it right now we'll deal with minigame we'll have like an entire episode dedicated to minigames and the castle and the old books and the npcs and all sorts of other stuff um i love how bulgan just kind of warped over here so if you say good luck uh, hi yo, then you'll join in this cooking competition. I don't want to do that right now, so I'm just gonna say just wait a minute, and we'll do that later. Now, I need to head to the farm, and hopefully I remember where it is, although I'm not holding my own breath because I do get lost so easily in this game. Okay, I am up at my bedroom, so I need to go down. Somehow I got on the second floor. I think that's what confuses me about this game is that um, I, I don't realize when I'm on the first floor or when I'm on the second floor. So I need to be on the first floor, of course, for this farm. It's around here somewhere. The hell's this damn farm? Here it is. Perfect. And here's Tony. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. So drop those off, and then here we can drop off the lamb for Yuzu as well. Just free up some inventory space there. Now we can move on with life and uh, we can go to the Great Hall and talk to Shu if I can remember how to... Is this the, the second? Okay, good. Man, I get... Like, this castle is enormous. It is... I get lost in here so easily. Oh, it's Victor and Apple. I wonder what they want. Oh, yeah. We all made it here. At this point, it doesn't tell you, but Teresa joins the party. And so does Shin. Yeah, he made it. Oh. Well, that's nice, at least. Oh, hell, this stupid girl. She's here too? Come on. 
You are a nuisance. You're a pain in the ass. Poor Flick. Like, he really has to beat these women off with a stick. You made dinner for him? Wow. Like, he is an important strategy meeting. He doesn't have time for your stupid love games. Okay. Yeah. Who was the first girl? Oh, yeah, it was uh, Kimberly in the very first game. Kimberly wanted that date with him. Like, the illiterate moron wanted the date with him. <laughs> Uh, you're one to talk to Nami, like, can't sleep. What are you talking about? Like, she's, she's perpetually awake. She's always awake. She's like, hey, you can't sleep, you'll get sick, as I'm standing outside of your bedroom at 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, what are you doing, Nanami? Anyway, meanwhile... Oh, he gets anything he wants? Oh! <gasps> Oh, shit. So the last time that we saw Joey, he had no idea what was going on with Rena and her DSLs, and now he wants a wife? He grew up really fast. <laughs> yeah, you got some hubris, don't you? Uh-oh. Yikes. Well, what's your idea? Oh, shit, Joey. I don't think that this is going the way that you planned. Hmm. If you recall, um, the other generals actually pledged their loyalty to Joey rather than to Luca Blight because they know that Luca Blight's a crazy ass. And they know that Joey would be a better leader for Highland. Nanami, do you ever get to sleep? Do you ever go to bed? Like, you were literally up outside my door creeping on me last night, and then I wake up and you're in my bedroom. Like, this girl has issues. So, what's up now? Everybody, this is it? Yeah, Flick's too busy with his 14-year-old girlfriend. <laughs> At least the game calls her out. You were late because you were looking for your bandana? Wow. Yeah, so what's going on now? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Okay... Oh, that would make sense. Hopefully Matilda will join us, and then we can fight against Highland together. That would be nice. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Oh, okay. A small group of six, I suppose? Okay, so who will accompany me? Um, let's see. I'm just gonna put in people that I haven't really used all that much. Uh, of course, Nanami will come because, you know, Spark Rune, her double beat is so nice. Uh, let's see. Rikumaru is only 18. Okinison's only 16. Wow. A lot of really, uh... Oh. Okay, so yeah, let's do this. Let's use people who don't really have a whole lot of levels. We'll just mix things up here. Why not? Okay, so Bulgan will join the party. Bogan, fight hard! Rikumaru. Let's throw him in. Uh, Rina's only at level... Okay. Um, let's see. Who else? Oh, Zams is at 19. Kinnison's at 16. Yeah, we'll throw Kinnison in there. He's super cute, too. Look at his little face. I think he's adorable. Now that I think about it, is Kinnison a male or a female? I really don't know. I think he's a guy. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I got my crap-ass party together. We're good. <laughs> oh, I hope so. It's such a shitty party, but whatever. You go north of Green Hill and use a hidden path through the woods. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Yeah. Do you guys have anything else to say? 
Okay, so just go north of Green Hill. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so what I want to do now is um, get my party all set up, change runes around, change equipment around, all that kind of good stuff. I'll be dealing with Barbara. Also, you can now go to Couscous and you can um, use the blacksmith there and forge your weapons up to level 11. So I definitely do want to go off screen and do that as well. Oh, look, there's Sailor Jupiter down there. Um, so I'm going to get all that stuff done and then I will meet you at Green Hill. I got everything taken care of that I needed to. I made my way back to Green Hill, and now we are going to head to Matilda. And Shu said that the way to get to, move to Matilda was north of Green Hill. So let's just be on our way to the only area that we haven't been to yet in this particular part of the world map. Oh. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, cool. What are you talking about? I'm not jealous of you. You're the pig-nosed tomboy. Although not as pig-nosed as Nina, but whatever. Oh, well, that's enormously easy. If you came here before, they would just be like, none shall pass. So there would be no reason to. Oh, hey, who are you? What's going on? Bado. You have nothing to say to me. Yeah, we'll have to keep him in mind for later. And what do we have here? These zombie slugs. Um, we'll just go ahead and auto these guys. Yeah, I have a, I should go over my party setup, actually. Um, I'll do that after this battle. The zombie slugs can drop recipe 29s. So keep that in mind if you're looking for those recipes. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. Um, as far as my setup is concerned. So reuse the same Rukamaro, gave him the double beat rune. Also, I leveled up Ryu's and Nanami's weapons up to level 11. Everybody else only got up to level 7 because I probably won't use them after this, so we'll see. Anyway, he got the double beat. Uh, Bulgin, he can't equip any rune, so he still has his fire breath. Rina, I gave her the lightning rune, but apparently she got another slot opened up. So yeah, that's kind of nice. I'll have to give her something else. Um, Kinnison, I gave him Victor's Fury rune. Uh, you could also give him a magical rune, too, because his magic growths aren't that terrible, I must say. They're kind of comparable with Rena's there. Um, I'm carrying around a water and a fire rune, so I'll probably give one of those to Reno whenever we get to the next town. Get a guard ring. It's completely useless, but it's there. Might as well. This forest is not so large, but there are a lot of enemies in here that can drop particular items, like these Dory Me Elves. Um, Ryu. Oh wow, I really need to go to the inn. I didn't realize that I wasn't like, Rrr. that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, what else we got going on here? Nanami, you can attack Rina. Oh, you just hit the lightning, that's one enemy. Oh, I could do a Thunder Runner against a Column, I guess. We'll go against them. And the rest of you guys can just attack. Anyway, these Dory Me Elves, they can drop a sound set number two. So if you care about sound sets, hey, have at it. Apparently they are resistant to lightning, which is just lovely. Yeah, whoa, look at that attack from uh, Rigumaru there. Whoa, look at that attack from the Doremi elves. That's no good. Um, Rina, as well as Ryu, have silver hats on, which allow them to regenerate roughly 5 HP at the end of each round. So, that's what that was all about. Man, those guys could be pretty tough. Maybe I should have actually got, you know, a halfway decent party with me, but... Eh, whatever. I'm gonna make a medicine. And there should be one more treasure around here that I do want to grab through these trees... Let's see what we got. Ooh, the dragon armor. Can I just jump down this cliff? No, because it's a JRPG, and God forbid we have any kind of shortcuts like that. Whoa, defense plus 30? Yes, please. Let's go ahead and switch that out. We'll give the magic robe to Nanami. Um, karate uniform, is that? Okay, yeah, I didn't think so. I have plenty of karate uniforms sitting around my um vault that I've been giving people. So with that, we've gotten all the treasure in here. And uh, we're... Oh, hey! It's Vicky! Where'd your meal go? Do you have a fork and knife in your hand? 
<laughs> Did you just, like, pop up in here? Yeah, Vicky is another um, staple of the Suikoden series, just like Jean. She is going to be your teleporter. Yeah, definitely. A cute girl like you, you can totally come to my castle. And Vicky's like, what? What's going on, huh? <laughs> Whoa! And away she goes. Hey, I thought you were leaving. Ah, good to meet you too. Oh. Okay, so here, if you say to come with us, then uh, she will teleport you back to the headquarters, and we don't want to do that, so she can just go on ahead by herself. Yeah, but that will make trading sequences, as well as just travel in general, so much easier. Oh, it's Miklatov. Hey, how are you? Wow, my reputation really does precede me. Oh, yeah, that wasn't that long ago either. Okay. Hey, we've made two rock acts. Lord Gerudo, huh. I guess that's the, uh, the king of this castle. We have two... Go and meet him. Okay. And we're going to be talking to the king next time on Let's Play Sweet Get In 2. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.